Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership with a three-string cigar box guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I had a friend who uh, asked me to play one of the songs in the songbooks. So we have three songbooks out, and uh, this one is in the third songbook. And it's called Troubadour, and it's by George Strait. And it's, uh, well, it's on page 10. So it's on page 10, and I'm just going to open it up here. And uh, so it says Capo 4. So if you haven't uh, seen my video on capos, you ought to take a look at that because... Um, different capos work for different size necks. This is a very large neck, and it, it, this capo is, is excellent for this guitar. Some of the uh, ones that clamp on this way, it's just too small. The capo is too small. This one opens up really nicely. So uh, this song is Troubadour, and I'm going to play a little bit of it, and then uh, we'll break down what it is, and then I'll show you how to play it without the capo. So here we go. I still feel 25 Most of the time Raise a little cane With the boy Honky tonks and pretty women Lord, I'm right there with them Singing above the crowd Sometimes I feel like Jesse James Still trying to make a name No, nothing's gonna change what I am I'm a young troubadour Rolling on a song I'll be an old troubadour So this guitar is tuned G D G. So D G D G 42 34 24. And I'm putting it here on capo four. And anytime you put a capo on, you kind of you kind of have to retune a little bit because you know sometimes, at least with me, anytime I put a capo on, it kind of sounds funny, and I have to retune a little bit. So as you saw in the beginning of the video, I just kind of kind of got it by ear, and that's really what I'm doing. So this song has three chords in it. Open. So if I put a capo on four. That means it's G open, G sharp, A, B flat, and B. So the song is in B, but on capo four, I don't have to worry about B. I just think of shapes. Shapes are what I think of. So the shapes that I'm given on the book right here are the typical G, E minor, C chords. Okay, so open, then an E minor, then a C. So what happens is you put it on capo four, and that means this nut has now moved up to here. So you're open. E minor looks like the same shape. And C is five frets up, just like it would be if it's down here at the nut. So that's kind of how that works. So we're G, and I keep my hand here so I can get to the C and get to this E minor. So if you notice, this is how my hand is working. G, E minor, C, G. So this E minor looks like so, and the C is here. In the real world that we live in, this is a B, okay? We talked about this, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B. This is a B. 
This chord here would really look like this. That is a G sharp minor. And that's an E. So what that tells me is that I can actually take the capo off And I've got to retune a little bit. So, what did we call it? A B, G sharp minor, and an E. come down, we don't have to use the minor, we can just play a G sharp, and then an E is of 4-2-4, of four four. I'm just going to take my finger there, and then pull my elbow back, and get the, the two fours, so 4-2-4, four four. so B, then my first finger reaches down to G sharp, my elbow comes out, I catch that second fret of the E string, elbow comes in. I still feel 25 most of the time. Watch my elbow raise a little cane with the boys, and it sounds exactly the same. So capos can make your life easy. They can put everything here, right? Or they can, you know, they can make your life easier with shapes. And that's what we try to do, and that's what we did with the book. We wanted the shapes to be easy for the beginner. But if you wanted to, you could certainly play this B, G sharp, E, B. There is an intro to the song. And so what I want to show you is when your hand is here and you're playing this B with your pinky, a really good trick is to be able to move from pinky to first finger or from first finger down. So I tell you to start on your pinky here, but I'm going to now start on my first finger, and I'm going to slide my first finger down to that G sharp, come back to the E, and then my first finger is going to come up here to four and replace this one, because I want to do this intro. The intro is very fun, and I don't think it's beyond you guys out there, you guys are gals. So it starts out with a... So this is a hammer-on right here on this G sharp. So that's how it starts. So let me show you a little bit of this intro. So that's how this intro goes. So I'm going to show you one more time. So what I'm doing is, is I'm going two whole tones. One, two. So that's four frets. And then my pinky comes up here to this F sharp. So... So now I'm going to do the song with the intro and the different shapes as opposed to the capo shapes. So here we go. I 
I still feel 25 most of the time and I raise a little cane the boy on guitars and pretty women Lord I'm still right there with them singing of the crowd Jesse James trying to make a name. Knowing nothing's changing the way I am. I was a young troubadour. I wrote in on a song. Now I'll be an old. So that's how I would play this song. But frankly, look, you know, if you decide to play it with the capo and you put it on like so. same thing with the capo on so that gives you an idea of how to use a capo and 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 you know you can play it two different ways if you want um, we have it down as a capo song and I think that's fine I like having it as a capo song and I can it makes it really easy to do that little trick So whichever way you find is easier, that's awesome. So it's on page 10 of the Country Songbook. Picture of Tess and I on the back. It's on page 10 of the Songbook. And uh, Troubadours is a fantastic George Strait song. Um, if you watch the um, official live video, it is just fantastic. He's got a really, really good backing band, and it's fantastic. So uh, definitely check out the book. There's so much to find in it. There's also free lessons on my website. Just take, you know, go to my website, take me to the free library, and press that, and you'll find it. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. And Tess and I thank you so much for picking up the books and uh, working out these songs. This is, this is how I learned to do it, and I still pick up this book, and I still play these songs. So it's awfully fun, and uh, I'm playing through a Roland Mini Cube, and uh, my settings on this cube, I'm just very, very clean here. I'm on the Brit combo, a little bit of reverb, hardly any gain, just a nice clean tone. Um, country music lends itself to nice clean tones. So enjoy. Find yourself a capo that works with your instrument. Don't necessarily buy one online. It may not fit. So it's better to go in and look at them and decide what's right for you. Thank you so much for everything you do for us here. And we really appreciate it. PayPal and Square donation links are down below. Thank you so much for everything.